The ongoing row over the recently passed Right to Health Act in the State Assembly of Rajasthan. Doctors in the state held a massive rally in Jaipur. 20,000 doctors have, uh, are expected to have participated. Now private doctors have called off their strike. They've been on strike for 17 days against the Right to Health Bill. They've signed an agreement with the government. The Right to Health Bill will only be implemented for starters. देखिए इसमें कोई शक नहीं है और चिकित्सक हमेशा संवेदनशील रहे हैं समाज के प्रति और चिकित्सक का परम धर्म है चिकित्सा करना तो हम खुद आहत थे कुपित थे हम खुद उद्वेलित थे कि ये चीज़ हमारे को करनी पड़ रही है और हमने हर कदम पर आम जन से माफ़ी मांगी है कि हम विवशता पूर्वक ये कर रहे हैं कृपया इसका ठीक रहा हमारे ऊपर ना फोड़ा जाए और कदाचित सरकार जो इस बिल के प्रारूप को जिस तरह से लाने की कोशिश कर रही है उसकी उसकी ओर देखा जाए और मैं आपको जैसा बार बार कह रहा हूँ कि कदाचित ये बिल डॉक्टर और मरीज के बीच की जो एक दूरी है उसको बढ़ाने का काम करने जैसा प्रारूप में था तो उसको कोशिश की गई है कि इसके प्रारूप को वो ठीक किया जाए और अभी भी जैसा बात है जो भी अंतिम निर्णय है वो होगा और मेरे साथ हमारे कोषाध्यक्ष डॉक्टर सुनीत शाह भी मौजूद हैं और हम चाहते हैं कि जितना जल्दी हो सके इसका पटाक्षेप हो जाए still actually waiting for private hospitals to open up uh, they will i think in the due course of by this evening also not only hospitals were shut the you know something as simple as getting an x ray done or a blood test or even getting a plaster put was absolutely impossible in rajasthan you couldn't even get a simple blood test done so uh, people were facing a lot of problems the government opds were not functioning through the day they just functioned for few hours in the morning by the time your turn came a lot of patients would be turned away from the door uh, yesterday we interviewed a patient who was in a semi paralyzed state uh, he was discharged from the general ward sent to see a neurologist in the opd by the time he reached the opd uh, it had shut and then he had no option but to lie there on the corridor Uh, he was in a semi paralyzed state his family didn't know what to do with him we also met a boy who's been managing with a bandage he's uh, fractured his leg he's just managing with a bandage there was no one to put a plaster his father was so desperate he was thinking of going to agra uh, to get a plaster put for his son so these are the kind of problems people have uh, faced of, apart from of course the fact that a number of patients have actually lost their lives uh, i personally know of cases where people have said that you know someone suffered a heart attack they rushed them to the nearest hospital of course it was shut couldn't get admission tried to get to the government hospital and by the time the patient reached the government hospital it was too late there is no uh, uh, sort of an assessment of how many patients have actually lost their lives in this doctor strike but we do know that th that has happened and now of course the doctors and the government have reached a consensus in fact late last night they were talking to the health secretary and to the chief secretary then this morning they also went and met the chief secretary now they broadly signed on a few things i can broadly say that private hospitals are out of the ambit of the right to health bill but if you have a hospital which is more than 50 beds or you have a hospital that is built on land that has been taken from the government at concessional rates you have a private medical college or you have some kind of a health facility which runs on a ppp mode private public partnership then you will come under the ambit of the right to health bill what does the right to health bill give its citizens well firstly emergency medical care without a uh, payment is something that the government says that must be given and in fact now doctors are saying let's define an emergency it should be a life threatening situation so if there's a snake bite or someone has uh, suffered a traffic accident then that person actually has right to be treated without having to make a payment first so that's something that the government was very keen on now let's see how they define emergency secondly you know uh, insurance schemes like the chiranjeevi bima yojana or even the free diagnostic scheme that the government runs all the hospitals which are under right to health will uh, uh, have to uh, subscribe to these government schemes who are out of it will not have to subscribe so it's the aim is to provide universal health care affordable health care to everyone but obviously now it's being kind of implemented partially but at least it's a move forward it's an election year it's ashok gehlot's flagship scheme and uh, he is keen that this bill is pushed through uh, in whatever form it is even now so that you know now the rules will be formulated accommodating the private doctors concerns and then it will become an act when the governor signs it